Yo guys, how are we all doing here? Neo Inferno here, back with another Modern Warfare video. And in today's video, what I am covering for you guys is the first submachine gun to hit the list. The AUG, or the AUG, as people would like to call it. <clears throat> Also guys, thank you so much for your likes and views and comments on the last M4 video. That was just fantastic and I really, really appreciate all the positivity coming from you guys. So without further ado, let's get right into my AUG setup. So the first thing I have to talk about with this AUG, it's all around actually a really good gun. I actually didn't think it would be considering at the start it was really difficult to use without any attachments you know when you're starting to grind the gun it is really hard but trust me when I tell you this guys stick this gun out honestly it is actually one of the best SMGs it's actually my attachments that I use turn this thing into a non recoil beast this thing doesn't have any recoil anyways but oh my god this gun is fantastic for me anyways easy easy gold easily like one of the best SMGs in the class along with the MP5 and the MP7 and the B's on, where we're gonna leave that Uzi out of it there. I haven't tried the P90, that's from Infected my level up. Anyways, so <clears throat> let's get straight into the creator class here. So for my first attachment, we're gonna put on the monolithic suppressor because I actually don't think this thing needs uh, like a muzzle brake or a compensator. You can throw that on if you really want to. I don't think it needs one. So the monolithic suppressor for some sound r suppression and some damage range is always a little bit better if you're going for those long shots. This is where it gets a little bit important. Now, I have to say the difference between these two that I'm going to that I'm that I'm going to alternate between it's a matter of preference if you want to aim down sight quicker, guys. That is literally the only difference here, right? So if you want to aim down sight quicker, you're going to equip the 407 millimeter extended barrel, okay? And then if you want a bit more range and a bit more recoil control, you'll go with the long barrel. And this is my preference here, is the long barrel. The accuracy and the control this thing gives you with, you know, minus the mobility is a bit of an issue, but... <clears throat> Trust me, if you just know where everybody's coming from, this will do you perfectly fine. So we'll equip the 622mm long barrel. Now, for our under barrel, we're going to go with the Commando foregrip for some aim stabilization and recoil stabilization. So no more swaying left to right. And also, when you're firing at people, the gun is not going to move everywhere. It's not going to go all over the place. It's just going to stay right on target. You want that pellet spread. You want those bullets. You want them to hit everybody. You want to hit them. You want to hit all those vital organs. And you're going to do that with the Commando foregrip. Now, for my next slot I'm going to use the ammunition 32 round mags because let me be honest with you guys this thing sucks without it it's well it doesn't suck without it it's good without it this thing needs a bigger mag now you can obviously use the 30 round mag but if you want to turn it into an assault rifle but I don't want to so I'm gonna put on the 32 round mags just because it needs a bigger clip and then for the last one now guys this is total preference if you like the iron sights and the AUG you can use you don't need you don't need to use the optic like I'm going to. You can go and put yourself on a stock for aim down sight speed or the heavy stock pro. Uh, the stipple grip tape is always a good show. But for me, I'm gonna put on my classic monocle reflex sight. But I am also gonna alternate between the two. I use this and I also use the Viper reflex sight and then obviously the G Mini, the GI Mini reflex. But to be honest, I've kind of gone towards the monocle reflex sight, which is just my favorite. Then I'm gonna show you what this looks like in gold. And there it is, gorgeous. A beautiful gun in motion. Submachine gun alpha, it is a really good gun. I love it to bits. I think it's one of the best SMGs. I'd, I'd use this all over again if I had to go through all the the whole um, the whole going through the level up and the grind to get gold for this. I would. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, the reflex, the monocle reflex sight wasn't put on. So that's what my AUG looks like, anyways. So guys, I'm gonna show you a couple of clips now. I think about it, I have three or four clips of the AUG. If it's if it's more, if it's three, if it's not four, I apologize. But it's about three or four clips, anyways. And then you'll come back to me, and we'll talk about the rest of the. We'll talk about those clips that you're about to see. So I'll see you guys in a few moments. These guys are shit, dude. 
These guys are bad, very bad. Do. There's a guy like camping on the corner here. Yeah, He's got a, I just yeah. sent in a cluster on him. Thank you. Oh my lord, I am having a game and a half here. Too many footsteps with me right now. Please, people, come on! Package you want a chopper gunner? You do want a chopper gunner? Did you just get a chopper? Yeah. Now, guys, welcome back. Welcome back. Sorry for putting you through those three clips there. I did say three or four. My bad. I said three. Now, guys, as you can saw from those clips, now in all three of those clips, I'm sure you noticed something. The constant thing that was happening was there was no kick every time I use this gun. It's just on. It's on target. It's a beautiful gun to use. It's just amazing. It's on. It's on target. It's got decent range, but that's only good. It's got decent range because I put the attachments on to give it that nice range. The 32 round clip was a good addition. So it could help me laser people down a bit more as well. And with that monolith expressor, nobody knew where the hell anybody was dying from, which is what you want to see. And obviously, as you saw along, I got a chopper gunner in one of the clips. I took down about three, I took three people down trying to take B with a relative ease, no struggle whatsoever, swapping between everybody so quickly and it was just immensely fun to do and I really, really enjoyed the AUG and I highly recommend it that if you're starting off and you want to use an SMG and you just bought the game, I think that you should use the AUG. I think the AUG is the gun, the way to go for you until you've got enough, until you've leveled up high enough to get the MP5 the B zone and the MP7, but you can unlock the MP7 early as well. So there you guys, there you have it. That is my AUG class setup there, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. And guys, thank you so much for smashing the like button, leaving lovely comments and the views and everything that you guys are giving me. We're so close to a thousand. I can feel it, and I'm so happy and so grateful for all of you guys. So what I would like for you guys to do with this is just the exact same. If you guys could smash that like button, if you guys could subscribe, it, Give me more comments, comment on what you like about the AUG, comment on what you want me to do next, comment on anything Call of Duty related and I will cover it for you guys in as best detail as I possibly can. And I will see you guys in the next video and I would also like to say Happy New Year to every single one of you and I hope you achieve all your goals. This has been Neo Inferno, peace out.